Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try good old days on the ook. Get yourself a D chord. your intro. All right, I had to change some things, but um, you know, it's close. So uh, the piano uh, is in a different key. They're in uh, E flat. You could uh, put a capo at the first fret if you really want to be in their key. Uh, we've just moved it slightly. Um, so I did a D instead. Um, um, it, just, it just works out nice uh, on the oop this way. So, uh, you got yourself a D chord, which is the uh, fourth string, uh, third string, and second string, second fret. You just strum it once, let it ring for six beats, and then two more Ds at the end. Then we go to a G chord, sec uh, third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. That's my G, let it ring for six beats, hit it, and then I'm going to lift up my ring finger and get that open second string that's the note the piano plays to get to the B minor, which you bar the second fret, fourth string, fourth fret, B minor, and then an A is the fourth string, second fret, third string, first fret, then back to the G, then an F sharp minor, which is the fourth string, second fret, second string, second fret, third string, first fret. Now here's where I had to change uh, something. Um, the piano, while holding down that F-sharp minor, you could play like F-sharp, then an A underneath it, lower. Uh, that's what the uh, piano player does. But we don't have the A underneath. We don't go that low. So, so I just hit the second string, which is the F-sharp. Then I hit the... Um, uh, actually, you could... Well, that's even easier. So uh, you could hit the second string, the F sharp, and then the open first, that's an A, right to a G. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, I think the first time I did it, I went like this. So you can do it like that too, if you like that better. A uh, second string, you know, the second fret, you're already holding it down. And then the fourth string, second fret, that's also an A. That's what I did in the intro, but I think I'm going to change it. It's even easier just to go like that. What didn't realize. So, and then a G chord. Okay? So that's your intro. Let me play it again without yakking. And I guess I should uh, tell you that when I did that F sharp, minor, and when you play the F sharp, this A is higher, so it's not lower, so the piano goes boom, down lower, but we don't have that note, so that was my point in changing it, but it sounds fine, <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to mind, okay, so that's your intro, the nice thing about the intro is it's used in the chorus also, uh, so when she starts singing about the good old days, I wish somebody would have, I wish somebody would have told me, Open, then the B minor, A, G, the F sharp minor, the G, and then she tacks on D, D, G, G, B minor, A, G, G. So that little part there, the D to the G, two beats each, B minor once, A once, G twice. That is tacked on to what you already know as the intro, and that is your chorus, okay? So, uh, let me play that. I'll play the chorus one more time, so there's no confusion. We got the D. D, D, G. Then you hit your G again. Then you lift up that ring finger, so it's open, so you get that note that the piano's playing. B minor, A, G, for two beats, the G but you only hit it once. F sharp minor for two, but you only hit it once. Then you hit 
get the second string, first string, and then the G chord. Let it ring for four beats, and then D twice, G twice, B minor, A, G twice, and then there's an overlap. So that's the that's the end of the chorus. So that's the big section in the song, and then he comes in singing his verse as she's going out singing the chorus. So there's an overlap, it's, so you go to a D chord for the, the verse, and that's kind of how she ends it. And um, so she's going out, he's coming in, and uh, so don't get confused with that. On the ook, the verse is a bit tricky. I, uh, I just figured it out, so uh, I'll be practicing it right in front of you because I don't really know it that well yet. So uh, it starts with a, a D chord. got a D chord and what I do is I do it with two three and four here you know uh, at the second fret and then when it when you hear that note change all I'm doing is I'm lifting up off the second string so my pinky comes up and then I put it right back down so it ends up being like a D sus two to it back to a D so you got D I'm gonna strum it six times lift up and put it back down just like that. So I lift up on that second string. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, then I go to a G chord. I'm gonna hit that six times. Now what I want to do is I want the second string, second fret, followed by the second string open. That's what the piano's playing on top. And so in order to do that, what I do is I flip my fingers around. So it looks kind of like a, a, my, the way I do my D chords, except it's on the wrong strings. So it's uh, the third string, second string, and first string, second fret. That allows me to strum. So I get the, so it's like a G chord, but it's got the uh, F sharp in it. So the, the, the second string, second fret becomes a G major seven. And then I lift up off that second string. Make sure you get the clearance so you're up on your tips. And that's the open second string. And that's what you're hearing. It's F sharp to E. Those are the notes. That leads me right back to the D chord. G, flip around. And then, so you do that twice, and then you go to a D chord for four beats, G chord for four beats, B minor for two measures or eight beats, D chord for four, minor for four, G chord for four, and then you're out. Then you go back to the chorus. So she's now coming in and he's going out. So there's another overlap and then she comes in with uh, she wishes someone would have told her about the good old days. Okay? Uh, so that's your verse. Okay, so those are the two big sections in the song. Uh, here's the form of the song. You got your intro, then the chorus is when she sings, the verse is him, chorus is her, verse is him, chorus is her, verse is him, and then you have a bridge. Um, we're back to her, and she's uh, singing, this is the whoa, whoa part, and um, this part here, it's, uh, you already know how to play it, um, it's a D chord, but this time instead of hitting it six times, like we did when he was singing, uh, we're only going to hit it once and let it ring. Six and then so again I'm just lifting up, open second string, back down, and uh, and then I go to the G chord, let it ring, and then I do this, and you do this twice. So it's the same thing you did before during the verse. It's just this is the whoa part. She does it four times in a row, and um, so it's the same maneuver. It's just that instead of hitting it, 
you know, six times in a row, you just hit it once and let it ring for six beats and count it off, you know. So that's the whoa part four times in a row. Now you're almost done, That's we're calling that the bridge. Then you have a chorus left, and then you just end on a D chord. So here's the last chorus. It's a D, 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 G, uh, and then the, with your open second string there, and then the B minor, A, G, F sharp minor, and then the G, D to a G, And again, capo one will give your, get you into their key if you feel like you need to do that. I didn't bother putting the capo on, so uh, that is it. That's the whole song. Uh, I think we went over all the chords, all the parts. So I'm not going to play the whole song. <laughs> I'll just screw it up. But those are the parts you need to put it together. I'm sure you can do it. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and play more Ooga.